Hi! This screencast demonstrates some refactoring operations available in the NetBeans ID Java Editor. In this slide, you can see the list of the refactoring menu items expanded in the ID. This screencast focuses on the following refactoring operations introduce variable, constant, field, parameter, method, and local extension. We start by opening a prepared project. The zip of this project is available for download on the web page of the screencast. First, let's take a look at the introduce variable refactoring. The introduce variable refactoring allows you to quickly create a new variable from the selected code snippet. In the projects window, expand the refactoring source packages package b node and open the class c.java file. In the source editor, select the 3.3 double literal. Note that a light bulb icon appears in the left margin of the editor. Click the icon to read the list of hints. Choose introduce variable from the list. The introduce variable dialog box is displayed. Click cancel. Alternatively, call the introduce variable operation from the refactor menu. In the introduce variable dialog box, specify your variable's name. Leave the declare final option selected and uncheck the Replace all occurrences option. Click OK to initiate the operation. A new final variable is introduced and initialized to the selected value. The introduce constant refactoring is intended to provide a fast and convenient way to change a selected code fragment into a new constant. To learn how to introduce a new constant and replace all occurrences of the selected code fragment by the new constant, open the class b.java file in package b. In the source editor, select text and choose introduce constant from the refactor menu. In the introduce constant dialog box, enter a name for a new constant. Leave the Replace All Occurrences option selected and click OK. A new constant is introduced into your code and all occurrences of text are replaced by a new constant. The Introduce Field refactoring allows you to create a new field based on a selected expression, initialize it with the expression and replace occurrences of the expression in the code with references to the newly introduced field. Open the class a.java file in package b. Select the 3 plus 3 expression on the first line of the methods body and choose refactor introduce field. In the introduce field dialog box, fill in the name of a new field. Leave the default options selected and click OK. A final private field is introduced into your code. All the occurrences of the selected expression are replaced with a newly introduced field. The introduce parameter refactoring allows you to introduce a new parameter into a method based on a selection within a method's body. In the Projects window, expand the package A node and open the class A.java file. Scroll to the print sum method. Select the A variable. Choose Refactor. Introduce parameter. Enter the name for a new parameter or leave the default one and click Refactor. When the refactoring is done, 
a value is passed through a new parameter to the print sum method. When you introduce a method in the IDE, you replace selected code fragments with a call to a newly introduced method. Scroll up to the no return method. Select the code fragment you want to replace with a method. Choose source fix code and click introduce method. In the Introduce Method dialog box, type the name of a new method and click OK. A new method that contains the selected code and can be called anywhere is introduced by the NetBeans ID. The Introduce Local Extension Refactoring helps you to add logic when you cannot modify the original source code. For example, a class you are using needs several additional methods, but you cannot modify the class. Therefore, you need to create a new class that contains these extra methods and make this extension class a subclass or a wrapper of the original one. In the class a.java file, select a class method. Choose Refactor Introduce Local Extension In the Introduce Local Extension dialog box, enter the name of an extension class being created or leave the default one. Specify the details of the extension class in the fields of the open dialog box. Click Preview if you want to see the changes the IDE is going to introduce into your code. The refactoring window displays a tree view of the code to be affected by the refactoring. Check the displayed items to make sure that you want them changed. When you are done, click Do Refactoring. After running this refactoring, a newly created extension class is introduced. In this screencast, you learned how refactoring with introduce variable, constant, field, parameter, method or local extension is performed in the NetBeans IDE. Thank you for watching.